What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. We are back in the lab, making another movie for you guys today. A couple awesome lift kits going on the uh, going on the rack today. We got a nine inch FDS kit and a couple other cool things going down. You know I always get so excited to bring you guys new videos every day. I wake up excited to come to work, to come film, to make great content, share the love of the bread gang. Big show coming this weekend. Well, not a big show, but a little meet and greet that we do once a month up here at the shop from 12 to 4, third Saturday of every month here at Southern Tire. If you want to come meet us, hang out, I'll have a couple decals hanging around if you guys want some for free while supplies last. And I'm also working on the shirts and the hats as well. Just a couple little cheap things that I can push for you guys. I don't make really any money off of it. It's just an opportunity for you guys to support the bread gang and be a part of the bread gang more than ever and have a piece of the merch or the, you know, the product that the bread gang is going to put out. Uh, more details will come soon regarding that. But I love you guys. Thank you guys for clicking on the video again. Just hit 20,000 subscribers. Subscribers, thank you guys so much. We're going to continue to, to push great content, push great vibes, push chasing the bread, and continue to get better and better every single day. I love you guys. Let's get it today. What? Look. Beautiful. 2021 Chevy Silverado 1500 Texas Edition. We have, I've, I've never done a Texas Edition. I say I. But people give me crap in the comments. I've never done a Texas Edition. I don't build these trucks. I say I because it's my channel, okay? So if you would please do me a small favor. Take your feet, step up, and hop off of it a little bit. Just a little bit. And give me a little give me a little breathing room okay I hop up off leave me alone okay you people in the comments haters <laughs> we we love to give people crap in the comments though it's so funny 2021 Chevy Silverado Texas edition all gloss black with the chrome accents up front 26 by 12 kg1 gears 37 1350 26 gladiator X comp NT, MTs the full package the full package and we ended up doing spacers so it's wide like a 14 wide without having to do the 26 by 14s. And I think it's got a really good look to it. I, I've always been a fan of the gloss black and the chrome and the chrome wheels. I mean, it just, it's clean, it's simple. That's why we've sold so many of these trucks. That's why we build so many of these. The 26 by 12 gears are very special. We haven't done a set of these gears. These were actually gonna go on Andre's truck, who's from Chicago. This is what Andre's wheels would have looked like. Like I know he's going to be super happy that he went with 14 wides because I don't think he would have been happy with this. This is why we switched. I love this gear wheel, but he wanted 14 wides, and we made the right decision. Chrome spike, chrome spike lug nuts. We got to do it on every one of them that come through here. It's it's almost like just it's like written in the written in the stone of Southern Tire. Thou must have chrome spike lug nuts with forged wheels. It's just it's written in the stone. I don't know if you guys can see it over there. Little remblance. Of, uh, of it being in the stone over there. But I think it turned out really good. It's a really nice wheel. It looks good. Oh, shit. Hey, cutie. All right. <laughs> nine inch FTS lift kit. Set it nine inches. I'm not sure why. What well, would you, I think this truck looks taller than most of the ones that we do. Everything's bigger in Texas. Maybe that's what it is. That's this. That is 100% not it. That's, that's not true. Why does this look bigger than the rest of them? Most of my builds look bigger than yours. Actually, this is Alyssa's build. I don't know. Ask her. This truck just looks taller than the rest of them. I don't what know I why. Do she has sold more KG ones this week than we have. Lies. Lies. Call Gary. Pull up the phone records. <laughs> but did you sell a, tw a set of 20 by 10 KG ones? No. No. Nope. no. <laughs> We're, so we're starting to sell forged wheels more than we sell cast wheels. They're easier to get at this point. They're cheaper. Why, why would you not want to spend less money on a better quality wheel? It's crazy. What's different than the... What, what is the Texas edition? Is it just a badge on the side? I've never figured it out. I don't know. It looks good. Whatever the hell it is. It's probably an interior. It's probably got brown leather in there, doesn't it? 
black nope. cloth. Black cloth. Wow. I like the truck, but I don't know what Texas is. Um, I don't know. Could it be the steps? Maybe it's just the steps. Because they're not combed out. Did, is it, did I just realize that FTS has black monotube shocks on the back? Yeah, they make them in-house. Black shock. I kind of like that, actually. McGoy's has the silver. FTS has the black ones. That's they have, they have chrome shocks in this kit. They have the dual reservoirs, too. I'm Whatever pretty sure. FTS is really stepping the... I mean, they've been doing it forever, so they're not stepping their game up. They're just, you know, continuing to teach us new things every single day. 100% the difference between the boys and FTS is, is how many options they have. FTS is fully customizable. FTS, F, you can get FTS with a boot, a lifted strut, and a coilover. Hey, for a price, you can get your name on the cross member. You can get your name on the cross member. We just learned that recently. It's a beautiful truck regardless. How many trucks do you see that come through here that actually, that's what it is, it's the fog lights. Texas Edition has fog lights. That's it. We've never seen any of them that have fog lights that actually work. That's gotta be it. Texas Edition has fog lights. I'll tell you what I'm glad it's not. I'm glad it doesn't have mag ride control or something. Yes, I'm, I'm, so, I'm adaptive ride control is a bunch of baloney. That's for sure. Jay Ford, you don't clean your truck anymore? Exposed. Exposed. Boy, this wind out here is wild right now. Look at, look at this. I don't know if, if y'all can tell the storm that's coming through right now, but it's like, it feels like a tornado is about to come through is really what it feels like. We actually had a strike of lightning hit the uh, the awning up there a couple days, a couple weeks ago. That was that was wild. It looked like it looked like somebody threw a firecracker through the front of the of the building. But before the rain comes in and completely destroys the afternoon, we finished up this beautiful 2021 Chevy Silverado today. This red color, you guys know red is my true favorite. I say everything's my favorite, but red is my true favorite on the channel. I want a red truck, I want red wheels, I want all of it, all red, everything. But we finished up this 2021 Chevy, Silver, Chevy Silverado with a six inch lift kit, 24 by 12 KG1 Yaz, and the 35, 1250, 24 Gladiator X Comp MTs. This wind is gonna kill me today. Look, my man's got the red bullet antenna on there too. That's cool. Six inch lift, 24 by 12 KG1 Yaz. Shout out to Gary. Gary's gonna be here tomorrow. Oh, I'm so excited. Gary, my boy Gary's gonna be here tomorrow. It's a beautiful truck. I really like that red color. See, see, Vic, if y'all know Slick Vic, Slick Vic has the all red with the color matched front. I kind of like the red with the chrome a little bit better. Chrome wheels with the chrome, you know, bumper, the chrome grill. It's a super clean look. I like the red. I'm always torn between whether I like the 9 inch and 37s or the 6 inch and 24s. I, to me personally, I'd rather have the 9 and 37s. Oh, that wind. I'd be really surprised if y'all can hear anything that I'm saying right now. Look, my damn shirt's going crazy. But another guy from out of town. So many, I mean, we get so many trucks. I don't even, I don't even think I know where this guy was from. But he's got a hotel, so I know he's from out of town. But 
Hell, it's a beautiful truck in and out same day he dropped it off at 8 o'clock this morning back on the road at 4 30 today up here at southern tire if you guys are looking for somewhere to come get your truck done have that trust in us we got people that drive from all across the country to get their trucks done we're here for y'all i want to build your dream truck i want to i want to chase the bread with you that's what i want to do beautiful truck in and out love it oh i forgot oh he's from tallahassee oh, i forgot about that I like the chrome emblems back here. I haven't seen the chrome Chevy on the back before. I saw the license plate. I, I just remember, how could I forget? I, I just said, I don't know where the guy's from. And I said, I don't know where he's from because I wasn't thinking about it. And then yeah, as, soon as, Alex, Alex. as soon as I saw the license plate, he's from Tallahassee. Uh, this guy's from Tallahassee. <laughs> Look at that angle right there. Look at that angle, getting his shots, baby. This is a man chasing some bread right there. Look at him. If you've ever, if you've ever wanted to see chasing bread in a yoga form, that's it right there. Are you, are you making money? <laughs> Just a little bit, yeah. I got past that a long time Whoa! ago. Whoa! I got past that a long time ago, buddy. What? Getting made fun of for taking pictures. I have the best pictures. Oh, you have the best pictures, huh? Name someone better. <laughs> These nuts? <laughs> I like the red with the chrome front end better than, Shout out Procom, you know? than the all red color matched. Normally I like the all red. If it's the if it's the like the stop sign red, like the southern tire red, I like the color matched. If it's this red, I like the chrome better. Red's my favorite color, I don't care. You're gonna give me shit because I say it about every truck all the time. But red's red is actually my favorite color though. Do you know what lift kit this one is though? It's a pro comp. It's a very, very good lift kit. It's a good entry level lift kit like Rough Country. We just, we sell a lot more Rough Country. It's a good daily driver setup, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> and the best thing about this, this truck, you can drive it to and from work every day. To and from work every day, daily daily driver, in and out, not too big, not too small, all that. <laughs> GG1 wheels, Gladiator X -com. Hey, the KG1 wheels are really nice. With the spike lug nuts. The gladiators. Jeez. It's it's solid, it is. Whoa, I wonder who built that piece of shit. <laughs> she got so offended. Look at that piece of shit. I remember when I was first wide. That ain't that wide. The wind has died down a little bit, which is good. All jokes aside, this is a beautiful truck. I love this red color with the chrome, with the chrome on the front of the truck. Beautiful truck. Super glad that I get to build something to send back to the homeland in Florida. I love it. The KG1s come together with the Gladi. I mean, we build so many of these trucks. You guys know this. But this one in particular, what we, what we try and do with all these trucks is even though you guys want to build it just like the next guy, you guys are inspired by somebody else's build, we, we want to find a way to make them different. And every time, I think we do a good job of making these trucks a little different every time we do them. This red color with all of the chrome, it's a beautiful setup. All jokes aside, like I said, beautiful truck. I know the owner's gonna be super happy. Cold? Yeah, cold. Put a freeze on it. Pop the top. Jolly Rancher I too. I find it hilarious that y'all well, have your no Jolly practice, too. so exactly. Pop the top. Hey, your mind is in the gutter right now. I'm going to need you to stop. There's I'll customers here. <laughs> There's customers here. <laughs> I told you today was Friday. There's customers here. Hey, I told you today was Friday. <laughs> I didn't know that's how you did, did this. To be honest and honest with you. Yeah, no, I didn't know no. how you did this. Look, Alex, this. Roll it. Look, 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 look. look how much easier this is. <laughs> <laughs> Go over here like hurting yourself, bro. Yeah. <laughs> did he leave this for you? I have no idea. Seriously. I don't like how you have to Maybe eat this. He was saying something. I don't like how you have to eat this. It's, it tastes really good. I don't like how you have to eat it. Eat it. We think that this is what your YouTube channel should have been named after. That tiny bow tie. <laughs> That skinny bow tie? That light bow tie. That not so wide bow tie? I mean, you're not really that wide compared 
to some people in the parking lot, but I'm wider. 100% the best way to start off the show this weekend. Barry blew the transmission out of his new truck. Look at him pushing. Hell yeah, boys. <laughs> Hell yeah, boys. Oh, shit. Jimmy, that's cool as fuck. Dang. I was not expect. Oh, the Southern Tire on the other side, too. I didn't know you could buy letters like this. Damn, that's so cool. That's cool as shit. Hold on. I gotta, I gotta show love to my guy. Y'all go follow Jimmy on Instagram. Jimmy's one of the nicest dudes in the fucking world. I ordered another one that's gonna be right here, but it ain't a yet. I ordered it for you. I'm, my, my decals are supposed to be in today, but they're at my house. And obviously we're at the show hour and a half from my house. Jimmy's got a beautiful truck, very active on Instagram. So y'all go show him some love. One of the only trucks that we've ever built that has the fifth matching tire with the spare. I know Lou has one now, so shout out to Lou. But we've been, we've been really pushing the bread gang recently and Jimmy just popped out randomly with this today. I had no idea this was happening. So huge shout out to Jimmy for doing that. I do have decals and stuff on the way. I'm trying to finalize shirts and hats right now. But Jimmy's got the one of the only 10 inch McGoy's kits that we've done before they stopped making them with the matching front compression struts, the 24 inch red fuels, all the red accents. Jimmy's got a beautiful truck. Hell yeah, Jimmy, that's awesome. Let's see it. Let's see it. 20K on Instagram. Southern Tire. Hey. Fuck yeah. Congratulations. I want to walk around and show you guys some of the trucks that showed up today. Real hot. So we're going to try. We're gonna try and make it quick. We're having a good look. I'm freaking sweating out here. It's getting ridiculous. No hoodie out here today. No NC State hoodie for me today. But we, uh, some of the builds that we finished over the last month or two, just to show you guys what's you know kind of going on out here. That's the real that wide bow tie right there, huh? Real that wide bow tie. Chauncey's shitting on me now. Chauncey said I don't need a nine inch lift for mine. Hell yeah. Freaking boy Thomas out here. Y'all saw Jimmy's truck already. We got Sergio out here with the smoothies. We got a full video on this one if you guys haven't seen this one yet. The smoothies by Ruthless Forged. Hell yeah. We got Lou out here. We got a couple videos on Lou's truck. He's got the front and rear bodyguard bumpers color matched. Go show some love to Lou. City Country Hero out here. We got a video on this one. Custom colors, custom paint, custom powder coat. Y'all go show some love to City Country Hero. You got Ty out here in the cut. The boy came through with a Dodge. I think it's a third gen. King Cloud, shout out King Cloud. King, Cl Cl King Cloud 9, sorry, dang. Can't even talk today, so hot. Clean third gen, I think it's a third gen. We got Barry's, Barry's trash truck shitting on him. Yo. I wonder what goes down in the back back there. You got some wild shit back there. Yeah. Another one of Barry's trucks. Steven, I'm shouting out Steven just for you. Just for you. The dream out here. That wide Durago. Got Ted in the cut. Ted in the cut with his loud ass Jeep. Me and uh me and Ted got a podcast coming out soon. Not like a, I have an episode on his podcast is what I'm saying. Nothing crazy, but y'all y'all stay tuned for that one. I'll be dropping some, uh, some info on the channel on that one. We brought the Tahoe out today. Tahoe out today. No, no Silverado, no that white bow tie today. I'm, I'm incognito. Caden in the gang. Who's this motherfucker? Tahoe. Everybody loves the 16 wide KG1s. Shout out to Gary at KG1. Done already shouted Gary out enough. Gary's the nicest dude, man. I'm serious. Love the Tahoe. We need to squat this thing. We really need to squat this truck. How many, how many likes to squat the Tahoe?
100% broke my neck when I saw this truck come through. 100% broke my neck. What's done to the exhaust? Is it just, just muffler delete? That sound, for, for what it is, that sounds really good. For those of you wondering what the muffler delete sounds like, we get a lot of the customers, we, we lift a lot of these trucks. We, we do a lot of lift kits, a lot of leveling kits. Uh, we just get a lot of these Silverados and GMCs that come through. Muffler delete is a great option on these trucks. Uh, I'm assuming it's simple. Uh, I'll talk with him and have some more information in another video, but muffler delete sounds good for any of you wondering what kind of exhaust mods you should do to these trucks. <laughs> That's a bullshit. <laughs> 10 inch Magoys. See, I, I love, I love custom stuff. 10 inch, 10 inch, 74 inches? It's a 10 inch lift with a two inch leveling kit. So 12 inch, 74 inches total. Off the ground, right? Just for any of the cops that are listening. I love the little, the little accents. I, nobody will ever notice except me. Have you ever? Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll watch your kid. Have you ever noticed well, that's why I did it. I, the I did. color in the inserts? Have you ever noticed that? Yeah. The little gray inserts? Oh, I did that. You did that? Yeah. I don't, I'm not Maybe sure. If, McGoys, I, did it. I don't know if you guys can tell if there's a there's a hundred percent a difference in this color. It's almost like a graphite color. So you got the blue the blue rivets with the graphite inserts. That's really nice. That's such a cool little accent piece. He's got the custom McGoys struts in the front. So we got a 10 inch strut with a two inch leveling kit. We got the quad row wheel lights. 26 by 16 RBPs with the custom powder coated spike lug nuts. You can see those wheel lights back there, the red calipers. Got some Fury tires, shout out Gary. Man, I'm showing so much love to Gary in this video. Color matched upper control arms. So the, the wrap on this, custom wrap, a voodoo blue wrap on this truck. One of the coolest colors I've ever seen on a Silverado. The body lines and the color of this truck really set it off, makes it different than anything I've ever seen. Actually, I like the decal on the back. Kind of matches everything. Don't look at me while I'm filming. Weirdo, I'm just kidding. This is a beautiful truck. I saw this pulling in before you know everybody got here. I saw it pull down the street and I was just, I instantly just broke my neck. Was really hoping that he showed up and, and he did. One of the coolest trucks. Lives a little bit north of us, so he is a local guy. No, this is not a truck that we built. But whoever did build this truck did a really good job. Oh look, I just noticed this. The uh, traction bars, the inserts have that graphite gray color on them as well. I don't know if you guys can tell in the video, but can you guys tell the, yeah, you, look, you can see the color difference here. That's so cool. It's, it's the little things like that that make a truck stand out to me. We see so many trucks up here. We see so many builds that are similar. It's little things like this that really make a truck stand out to me. He did tell me that he's got custom 10 inch blocks with the shims in the back. So that's really cool. He's got the, the McGoy's lettering, the color shift McGoy's lettering on the rear shocks as well. And then he's got the muffler delete. It's a beautiful truck, it really is. That color, man. You'll never see anything like that. Beautiful. For those of you looking into some kind of exhaust setup though, it really is a, a really clean sound. It's not too much. That muffler delete is beautiful. I love the little tiny accents. Like I said, that's what sets a build off from the rest. We build so many of these, the little small accents, the blue rivets, the graphite color inserts, the, black, the spike lug nuts, the color match spike lug nuts. It's a beautiful color. Voodoo blue. You gotta love the name of the color at least, right? It's not too often we get to uh, be a part of something as special as this beautiful color y'all go show some love to my guy i'll have his uh, information linked below let me know what you guys think of the color in the comments below rain's coming in so i'm gonna finish this up today beautiful beautiful color 
You guys have been showing crazy love on the videos. Thank you guys so much for 20K again. We're on the road to 25K already. Thank you guys, everybody that came out to the show that we did once a month to show some love to the regulars up here. Nothing crazy, just a little, little personal one-on-one -on -one from everybody at the shop to all of you that show love to us in the videos and up here at the shop on a week-to-week -week basis. We love you guys so much. Get ready for some great builds this week. Get ready for some great content. We love you. We'll see you next time. Let's get this bread. That's what I'm talking about.